ladies and gentlemen, well, welcome to the first educational commentary of Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2. This commentary, we're going to talk about how to obtain the best weapons, aka the mythic weapons. We are going to land at the shark. I think the shark actually has the best loot, especially for solos. Reason being is it has two of the mythic items. It has the grappler and it has the new scar. The grappler has infinite charges. It's just like the old grappler that was really powerful. It, it gives you insane mobility. And the scar is basically like a gold scar, but it's a lot faster. And I think it does one extra damage. There's always going to be other people coming. So right now, I think I hear two people. Um, And there's also NPCs that you have to fight. And there's also music. So it's not an easy task to come in here and uh, and come out on top. But once you know the areas, once you understand where things are spawning, like there's a guy already down there with a gun. There's another guy landing at the pool. And there's a fourth guy. So we got four people in here. But once you start to understand things a little bit better, um, it starts becoming a little bit easier for you to figure it out. There's an NPC here that when you kill them, you get the scar and you also get the uh, a keypad. And the keypad takes you to the bunker that has a bunch of chests, which is going to have shields, shotguns, weapons, and everything you need. So what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to I'm gonna play this one a little bit smart. There's people in there. There's NPCs. There's music. It's hard to hear. Somebody already probably killed the main bad guy. And they're probably going to go for... Now I'm going to try to position myself near the bunker. I'm going to have to get rid of this guy, I think. I believe the bunker is in here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place the cone there. I'm gonna place the cone here. I'm gonna hide in this cone. Because if I'm not sure who has the, the, the card, is I'm gonna sit here in a cone. Once they get to this point, you open up, you just surprise attack them. You get the key cards and you can open up and, and get in. I hear them. It's probably some people fighting right now. This is the guy who has the key card. There we go. That thing is shooting me, but I got to be careful. I got to be careful not to. So it's open now. I got the scar. I got the super powerful thing. I'm going to close this off. And now I get all these chests. All these chests, just like that. Big pot. Scar, the grappler. And there's an escape route through here. Sometimes people like to wait on the opposite end of the escape route to try to catch you off guard. So you do got to be careful regarding that. Don't get into the, uh, don't jump into the uh, escape route because if you do, you can't come back through the same way. You want to make sure you loot up everything first, which we have. And then we have full shield. We have the scar. We have the tack. There's an extra scar down here, but we already have the good scar. So. That's how you do it. And now, now we're fully kitted pretty much. We got decent math as well because that guy was farming for us. Um, and now we can we have to escape because there's there is a storm closing in. These usually are on this. See, there's a guy waiting here for us. So he's waiting for us, trying to trying to be sneaky. So he's got a pump. I'm gonna drop on the side. 44. I coned him. 34. Just using good angles right here. Not doing anything too crazy. He's above me. I'm going to jump side jump. Now that I have the grappler, it's going to be easy. Just go above. Take free height. Side jump. 35. Nothing too crazy here. Fifty-two. I'm going to put on a mini. Put on a big pop. Might as well. This ramp is mine, but I can edit it. There we go. He's dead. Like I said, you got to be prepared for people waiting on the other end to try to kill you. Now I'm going to grab these bandages. I'm going to keep the bandages. There is a boat that's usually here. There's also a chest. I'm going to open the chest just in case it's got any healing for me. Yep. Med kit. We'll carry the med kit. Couple boats here to escape. You do got to be in and out as quickly as possible. I don't know why it's zoomed in. There we go. Zoom out. Because you're going to get you're going to get hit really hard with the uh, the storm because these are usually on the edge and they're not usually safe. Used up. We used up quite a bit of materials towards the end there and, uh, and we used up a lot of our shields. Um, unfortunately, like green tack. This wasn't hitting pretty hard. Um, you gotta really get in their face, but I kind of, I kind of played it a little bit on the safe side. 
Mainly because I just, uh, I wanted this commentary to go well. I don't want to, like, die to the, just some random guy who's just camping out. Like, like the other guy died. So now we're, we're, we're in a good spot. And I, I, I got rid of the boat. Because remember, we have a grappler. This thing has a hundred, uh, I mean, unlim unlimited charges. You can outrun any storm. You can honestly cover a lot of ground pretty quickly with the grappler. Um, you don't want to miss the grappler. Make sure that the, uh... The arrow is like, not the arrow, but the crosshair is like open and not, it doesn't have the X on it like that. Because if you shoot while the X is out, there's one more chest. Oh, this thing is the basement. If you shoot while the X is out, it's not going to be a good time. You're going to miss and then you can't really do anything until it comes back. Let's see where this new circle is. It's not too far away. I do need to farm some more though. And we got the new scar as well. Super powerful. The new scar is super, super powerful. Um, it shoots faster than a gold scar and it does a little bit more damage. And you gotta be careful when people see you with the grappler. There's only one of every mythic item in the game, uh, in each each game, there's only one. So if you see somebody with a grappler, that that means you know that that's the one grappler that's in the match. When people see you with the mythic items, they typically want to go and kill you. Like you you do put a little bit of a target on your back when you have the mythic items. So you got to be careful in that regard. You got to be ready to defend yourself and get ready for like unnecessarily like aggressive people personally out of the, all the mythic items I think the grappler and the drum gun are the strongest I like the grappler the most just because I value the mobility and the unpredictable un, un, being unpredictable um Compared to just having the raw power of the uh, the drum. So, 15 guys left. Usually, at the beginning of a new season, the games are a lot harder. Um, because everyone's trying super hard. It's like, you know, this is my season. I'm really going to take it home this time. I'm going to be the World Cup champion. So, if you're wondering, like, why the games are harder. Beginning of a season is always tough games. So, don't, don't be too hard on yourself. We do have a launch pad. We do have mobility. Right now, my goal is to try to find, like, a better shotgun. Maybe a big pot. Alright, I'm just gonna build. I don't have a lot of mats right now. One thing you do gotta remember, though, is when you have the grappler, your material count isn't as important. Because you don't have to spend as many mats moving around. You also don't have to spend as many mats taking high ground. You literally don't have to spend mats taking high ground. If somebody builds over you and you really want high ground, you just grapple up from a weird angle and catch them off guard. I feel like I do need to go in on this. You see how fast that scar shoots? It's a lot faster. So, made a little bit of a mistake there. I didn't want to... There we go. You don't want to box yourself in with a bunch of windows. You're not going to have a good time. So he has six C4. He has decoy. C4 is extremely powerful in solos, guys. Just in general, it's extremely powerful. But when you crack somebody, and they're not able to box, bo box in, you can really, really put them down with the C4. Like when they box in, if you if you time it right and you position the C4 well, they're gonna have like they're gonna only have like a second to react. They're gonna as soon as you hear the C4, you gotta move out your box, move out the way, or else it, you will die. These are powerful C4. They are overpowered. They are deadly, and hopefully I can show you guys just how deadly they are. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and head towards the um, the crate. It's center of circle, and it's also potentially gonna give me a big pot that I really need.
There's a guy over here. He's not really boxing in right now. It looks like he's just looking for the shot. So you can't, couldn't really make a C4 play because he's not boxing in. Um, typically the strongest time to C4 is is when somebody is boxed in and you go for the you go for the C4 shot. So I'm I'm actually just gonna give the C4, but you I need you guys to know the C4 is just as powerful as it was in the past. It um well to be honest with you, it's not just as powerful because you used to be able to throw the C4 a lot faster. And then they nerfed the C4. Oh, speaking of C4. guy is gonna be a bit of a problem but luckily for me I'm gonna build up a little bit try to get this big pot on speaking of C4 I actually didn't hear him he must have placed them before I came back to it all right he's got a heavy sniper and he's got the new SMG the, the burst SMG or like the auto SMG or whatever looks like he's actually just running away a couple good shots with the uh the new scar. I'm gonna start moving towards him. We got some third parties situation going on. He, I, 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 as soon as I heard the C4, I try to move more. Now we got a couple of guys on us, so I do gotta be a little bit more cautious. Build up a little bit. You gotta be careful with C4. I'm like, I'm like barely surviving these because they hit for 60 each when they hit you. Barely surviving these. I gotta be a little bit more cautious now. Considering I got a bit of a target on my back. Just like I said earlier, when you have uh when you have the people see you grappling around, you gotta be careful. Crates going back down there. There's like two crates over there. Or two, two loot, two loot for crate, two. Surprise! This guy's not out of C4. That must have been his last one because he only threw one. He only threw one right there. Usually they throw more than one. All right, circle's closing. We should get circle here, close to it. We could go and push in. I really want to kill this guy. I really want to get rid of him. He's hiding in the haystack. It's kind of annoying. Honestly, it sounds like he's on the edge of the haystack over there. So, just going to play it safe for now. People finding over there. There's two over there, one over there. One, just, one person just dies. So there's one over there, one, three. Four. There's two people that I don't know where they are. At. It's good to like try to like understand where they're at. My FPS, by the way, is dropping a lot right now, and that has happened a lot this season. Um, this, the FPS has just been a little bit less consistent. This guy's throwing out decoys. But I hear, I hear him in the haystack. I really do. I'm looking to see if like he just pops out for a second so I can open up and just spray him. Blow him away. Thing is, I have so much mobility that I don't mind like sitting here, even though I'm not like technically in circle. It's because uh I can get in pretty easily. Yeah, the FPS is dropping significantly right now. Especially in Frenzy Farm with all the hay, I feel like it causes issues. I heard shots from there. I don't know if someone was shooting at him. Sounds like he maneuvered in front of me now. All right, we're launching to our old old, old builds. 
Actually, we're just gonna launch this guy. He's moving around. Looks like he cranked over the top of me. <laughs> Just like that, you take height. That's why these things are so strong. <coughs> the, uh, the thing right now is that we don't have a whole lot of materials. We have enough, but these guys are all gonna be like decent. They're going to force us to spend a lot of mats. I want to be able to try to take advantage of our mobility without using too many materials. That, w that person just went, ran in the storm. I'm going for shots on him. The scar is so powerful. I think it's honestly not a bad idea to push this guy. It's because we tagged him up a couple times. We knew he was weak before. He's inside the house. There we go. These things around me are his NPCs that he threw. He threw decoy grenades. Um, I'm surprised that... He jumped out of the haystack and was able to like actually get out of the haystack. I'm also surprised he didn't have a lot of mats. But we went through. We heard we heard his decoy, but we also heard him jump in the haystack. And the decoys cannot jump in the haystack. So you got to know that the decoys cannot jump in the haystack. Now in this situation, we do not want to um, launch pad. There's too many people that, that could potentially beam us if we launch pad. So we just got to play a little bit smart here. And uh, that guy, is, he, he has his roof covered. If we do launch, it's got to be like a, a short launch. Um, and there's there's a way to do the short launch. I'm actually going to do it right here. Because I don't think there's someone up there. So the short launch is pretty simple. Put a floor out. And then as you walk over that floor, you place a ramp. And then a launch pad right after. Well, you have to phase under the ramp. So not like that. I did it incorrectly. Like this. It's going to be a short launch. It's quick. It's easy to set up. There's a guy above me, actually. There's a guy above me. Um, So we're going to go for the uh, grappler play here in a second. So very simple. Jump out the side. Grapple up. Hit him for 100. He, he edited down. I'm going to edit out like this. Took his roof. He's panicking. He's panicking, but... Apply some pressure from the top. I don't want to give up position for the other guys. There's three guys. They're all boxed in. I think we're gonna see just how powerful the uh, the grappler is in a situation. By the way, this is a, this is not a arena game. This is a solo pub. But like I said, the the games get much sweatier in the beginning of the season. Everyone wants to be the next World Cup champion. Everyone wants to be the next big streamer. So they get pretty sweaty. You just gotta be ready for that. So I'm gonna get a little bit lower. I'm going to start taking this guy's roof, applying pressure on his roof. He's expanding. Pressure with the scar. This scar does shoot pretty fast. But I don't think it shoots fast enough to go inside. Uh, inside builds. Okay, so we just shot him down. So what we do in that situation is we just box him in, then we go over the top. I'm going to grab these C4, actually. It's actually a perfect scenario because these C4 looks like we're getting shot out. 
I'm gonna get down, connect. And then go back up. The C4 is perfect in this situation. I don't know why that guy didn't use the C4 earlier. I'm gonna break this so I can't get rocketed. Okay. We know he's in there. One, two, three, four. Clean up. One, two. We hit that guy for 130. He's dead. He got rocketed by the other guy. And then as we came down, we just gave that guy a lot of shots with that scar. That scar is so deadly. He he was able to avoid the C4 because he moved out of the way. He was smart enough. The other guy wasn't able to avoid it, but we only had two to throw at him. But we hit him for 60. He stole the kill. And then we just kept our position. And guys, this season, there's really powerful weapons. And you need to be able to obtain those weapons. You need to know how to find them. You need to know who has those weapons and focus those people. Because if you make it to endgame and you have a grappler and the mythic scar or the mythic drum gun, it gives you such a huge advantage over your opponents. And I know this is not something people wanted necessarily, but you got to know how to play the game in every meta. It's going to be different. This meta, it's about these mythic weapons. These mythic weapons are strong. You need to be able to obtain them, especially the grappler. The grappler is one of the most powerful, I think, probably the most powerful next to the drum gun. Thank you guys so much for watching this educational commentary. Be sure to subscribe and like for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time.